Yeah. It's been a break, yeah. actually. It's working. It's working. Meanwhile, you know, the summer turning to the fall, turning to the winter. Yeah. There is snow out there. The patches of them still left. And, um, you know, winter brought its own challenges, of course. And um, But it also brought a lot of comfort. You know, the comfort when things are peaceful. And when you have those times of peace, then the difficulties that come, because they always do, sometimes become even harder because you have the sort of the comparison, right, between peace and peaceful, and here you are again facing the difficult. So how do you, we, can Acknowledge the difficulties without losing that sense of peace or the losing the whole, you know, mm-hmm. overall bigger picture. I just read a story once um, uh, during the first Iraq war and they were going outside uh, on patrol. An American convoy was going outside of, uh, on patrol outside of what they call the green zone. And the young private comes to the lieutenant mm-hmm. before they go. And the young private says something like, you, you know, this sucks going out there. And the lieutenant's response was, greet the suck. <laughs> and that became kind of like a saying during the Iraq war, I'm told, greet the suck. And there was one time when I was uh, working at the residential treatment facility and it was snowing outside and and everybody was excited except for this one guy. And he was pacing in the uh, living room back and forth and he was getting ready to leave. He had only been there for maybe two, three days, but he he just couldn't hang, he said. And... um, They asked me to go and talk to him, and I said, okay. So I go up, and I say, what's wrong, and all this kind of stuff. And he looks at me like I'm stupid or something, and and, and I I just couldn't understand it. And he finally said something about, look at the snow out there. (laughs) And I said, the snow? I said, we got plows and generators. And he said, no, no, no. And then I saw it. There was a split rail fence Mm -hmm. out there. And there was about two inches of um, cocaine (laughs) on the fence. And I looked at this guy and I said, oh, you're talking about the cocaine on the fence? And he says, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And I said, come on, let's go. And so it was storming out there. And he and I walk side by side Mm -hmm. and we stand there and maybe about 20 feet away. And all I said to him was uh, talk to it. And he did. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding you. He got into it and he's talked to it like it was feminine, like it was another woman, like a lover. And he said, oh, I miss you. And I miss all the foreplay that we would do. And and he he went like this. He said, I I, I would rub my gums with you. And 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 I was just building up to the time. and, And I thought I was listening to some sort of a soft core you know, a <laughs> porno thing, but he just kept going. And every and then what we started to do was just a step closer and a little bit closer. And finally, we get pretty doggone close, maybe about 10 feet away. And he looked at the cocaine on the fence, the lines of cocaine, and he said, you really beat the shit out of me, too. He said, I've lost my mother and my father and my wife and my house and my job. And he went on and on. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just stood there and then he just stopped and then he looked at me and he said, okay, I'll stay. And I said, what, what, what happened? And then he said, it left. Oh my God. That was the most amazing thing I learned from him is that you walk into the suck. Mm-hmm. You walk into the wall. And you greet it. You become without power. And then finally, we were out there for 45 minutes, but he stayed because the it left. 
Green the Suck. It's a good one, huh? It's a good one. Yeah. Another one. I mean, because we spend all of our time, you know, pushing the suck away because we don't like the suck. Mm-hmm. We don't like it at all. It's messing us up. It's interfering, and we talk to it, and we analyze it, and 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 and, and we and we're in this wrestling match. Mm-hmm. But the suck is bigger, stronger, faster, quicker, and certainly a lot smarter than us. It's a doggone freight train. So instead of trying to derail the train. Just watch it. Mm-hmm. Let it have all of its power because the only thing that the suck wants to do is move through. Mm-hmm. That's my thought on Great. what goes on. All right. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to move Guy. Yeah. Guy is right over here. Guy is the dog. <laughs> and we're sharing a couch. There we she try. is. We yeah. <laughs> try. Guys, so, say hello. <laughs> yeah. And so anyway, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You yeah. can just greet her and <laughs> greet say, her. just move a little bit so we have a little bit of more space. Yeah. But we're managing. Yeah. There you go. And...